Good afternoon, and please be seated. Thank you. My name is Herman Berliner, and I have the privilege of serving as Hofstra University's Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. It's also my pleasure to welcome you to Hofstra University's Celebration of Scholarly Excellence. Let's give everyone that's being celebrated today a round of applause. We begin this ceremony with the introductions of a number of our most senior academic administrators, beginning with, and I'm going to ask you to please hold your applause, Robert Brinkman, Vice Provost for Scholarship and Research, Cornell Craig, Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, Mark Lukashevitz, Dean of the Lawrence Herbert School of Communication, Neil Donahue, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Academic Affairs, Warren G. Frazina, Dean of Hofstra University's Honors College, Sina Rabani, Dean of the Fred DeMattis School of Engineering and Applied Science, Benjamin Rifkin, Dean of the Hofstra College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Holly J. Syrup, Dean of the School of Health Professions and Human Services, Terry Shapiro, Senior Vice Provost for Academic Affairs. We're also joined at the ceremony by Hofstra's Vice Presidents, who I'm pleased to introduce as a group. And now a round of applause for all of the people we've introduced. Thank you. And now the one person on our campus who needs no introduction, the president of Hofstra University, President Stuart Rabinowitz. Thank you. I may not need an introduction, but once in a while I might like an introduction, <laughs> long flowing introduction. So um, faculty administration and most importantly, uh, are soon to be graduates. They're proud parents and their family and friends. I cannot tell you how proud we are of you. Welcome to our celebration of scholarly excellence. You know, I've been president now for 18 years, and the first year I was president, we had this convocation, and the students filled up maybe five rows. So um, it is a testament to our faculty administration that now, um, it's filling up the entire arena. And if I, uh, Playhouse. And I have a feeling if I don't retire soon, I'm, it's gonna cost me more money to expand the size of the Playhouse just because we're graduating so many more accomplished students. But we are here this afternoon to recognize and pay tribute to your superb academic performance and your very hard work. You have f helped us fulfill our mission, which is to educate future generations of our leaders so that you can help solve the difficult challenges which lie ahead of us all. And I'm sorry to say that my generation and those right below me seem to be leaving you an extraordinary number of such challenges to overcome. But I am optimistic. I believe that you our graduating class of 2019, are capable of overcoming them along with your, the rest of your generation. But in order to do that, the problems are so complex, you will need to be, and I'm being honest about this, one of the greatest generations in the history of America. You will need to help us save our planet and our air and our water and you will need to try to heal wounds and divisions and to ease anger across the nation and across the world. You can do these things. You can do all of these things if you dedicate yourself to the hard work required to succeed in that effort. Each of you is altruistic and empathetic and civically engaged. Each and every one of you has demonstrated the extraordinary talent, the intellectual curiosity, and the perseverance that makes all of us confident in you and thus in our futures. Now I know you will take many different paths to success when you leave here, but whether you go on to graduate school or to the workplace, whether you become a business leader, a lawyer, a physician, a practicing nurse, a journalist or a teacher or a university president. And check with me if you have that in mind. No matter what course you choose for your own journey through life, 
we know that you will pursue it with the same level of dedication and commitment to achieving your goals that you have demonstrated during your years at Hofstra. As Nobel laureate Pearl Buck once said, the secret of joy in work is contained in one word, and that's excellence. To know how to do something well is to enjoy it, and I completely agree with that, and I believe each and every one of you have already learned that secret. We know you will achieve great things, and we, your alma mater, will take great pride in your successes. And that, in the end, is why we have this ceremony, to recognize and applaud your achievements. So I will conclude my extremely brief remarks at this ceremony. And don't think I'm going to be as brief at graduation as I am today. I don't want to set up unreasonable expectations. But I will be brief here. But I, I'm going to do something that I've only done twice in what feels like the hundreds and hundreds of commencement speakers I have ever done. And that is to leave you with a quote from Dr. Seuss. It seems particularly apt for this occasion. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own now, and you know what you know, and only you are the one who will decide where you go. Congratulations again. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Brandon Urwitz, our student commencement speaker. Brandon, an honors college candidate, is a double major in Spanish and speech language hearing with a minor in Latin American and Caribbean studies. He's a member of Phi Beta Kappa, the National Honor Society, Sigma Delta Pi, the Spanish National Honor Society, and Sigma Pi, the National Speech Language Hearing Honor Society. He's also an executive board member for the National Student Speech Language and Hearing Association. On campus, he has served as a peer teacher in Latin American studies, as a peer mentor for the LGBTQ plus students, as a resident assistant, as an orientation leader, as well as an executive board member of the Pride Network. He studied abroad in Valencia, Spain, and received the Academic Excellence in Spanish Award in 2018. He plans to use his bilingual abilities in his professional career and in community service. And he will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst for a master's in speech language pathology. Our scholarly excellent speaker, Brandon Urwitz. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How are we feeling? Good. Good. Hello and welcome. Today we celebrate knowledge, the pursuit of it, and all that we have given to achieve it. We celebrate our paths that have led us to this very moment. If we look back, we can see the mountains we've climbed, moved even, and the valleys we fell into yet always seemed to manage and pull ourselves out of it. The landscape that we leave behind is splattered with color, life, memories. Our pasts hold their own merit, but I believe the most wonderful thing we celebrate here today is our futures. We celebrate the path that spreads ahead with all its glorious and terrifying twists and turns. Each of us worthy of these futures, no matter how many times that person in the mirror tells us that we're not. Today, I am honored to be standing in front of such a diverse, hardworking, and distinguished group of young minds. Looking back at my experiences here at Hofstra, I keep thinking about how this institution not only values academic excellence, but also the holistic collegiate experience. Academically, Hofstra challenged us, as we all know. It pushed us to pursue dreams of becoming leaders in our fields. But Hofstra also recognizes that students cannot perform to their best abilities if they do not feel comfortable and safe. On arrival, the new student orientation program showed us there is power in diversity. It showed us that no matter who we are or where we come from, we deserve acceptance, support, and love. For some of us, that presentation on the celebration of diversity was the first time we really felt that support in our lives. 
Our identities are fundamental pieces to our ever-expanding puzzle, each piece meant to be connected to the next. I look out into the audience today and I see the faces of beautiful individuals who shared their stories with me over the past four years. Fellow students who showed bravery in the face of adversity. Students who said, I can and I will. And you did. Students like you inspired me and so many others. You, who when everyone else went home, you kept working on that math problem, that short story, painting, melody, set piece, business plan, lab report. You kept going because you recognized incredible potential in yourself. I give a sincere thank you to the Division of Student Affairs, student identity-based organizations, and all of you who gave me enough courage to be able to stand here today and say that I am a proud gay scholar and that makes me stronger and not weaker. I became an orientation leader for two years because all I wanted to do was convey that same feeling of safety and love to each student coming through. I wanted to help others realize there is immense power in being who you are and even more in encouraging others to do so. When I came to Hofstra, I wanted to be a Spanish teacher. And in my sophomore year as a Spanish major, I studied abroad in Valencia, Spain. There, I learned about exploring different ways of life and how in turn you learn more about yourself. My classes there and at Hofstra made me think more deeply about who I was and who I truly wanted to be. And after some soul searching, I added a second major in speech language and hearing sciences with a minor in Latin American Caribbean studies. I met professors, mentors, administrators who changed my life for the better. And some of them have even become great friends. And I'm honored to say that here today. Special shout outs to Denise Campos and the new student orientation program, Jill Atkinson and IEI, professors Anastasio, Yale Guillem, San Pedro, Metzger and the Spanish department, Dr. Roberts, Schrader, Milstein and the speech department, and so many others. My classes at Hofstra and my mentors' unwavering support trained me to leave no stone unturned and no challenge unmet. Their belief in me led me to one of the most inspiring and influential internships I've had at Lowell General Hospital in Massachusetts. I worked with a variety of patients ranging from pediatric patients with articulation disorders to geriatric patients in need of post-stroke rehabilitation. I observed my mentors there put into practice what I had been learning in the classroom. Hasha had not only prepared me to succeed in the professional world, but helped me find a career that will make me genuinely happy every single day. At Hasha, I have taken my love of teaching and bilingualism into the clinical world, and I could not feel more ready to start the next chapter at UMass Amherst to get a master's in speech language pathology. Each of us here has a story of self-discovery, whether it was a straight shot or a wild roller coaster, but we all made it here, today, together. Whatever profession you decide to follow, I look forward to seeing all of you as the world's next great artists, scientists, entrepreneurs, writers, politicians, athletes, engineers. Hofstra has made us all lifelong learners and has encouraged us to explore our intellectual curiosities in hopes of making a better world for everyone. So, here we are standing at the juncture between what we have done and what we are destined to do. But unfortunately, we must also say goodbye while we, cling tightly, while we cling tightly to the memories that we have created. We have crisscrossed paths with each other in the classroom, at on-campus events, at McKeebs, RIP, <laughs> at the fitness center. We constructed a beautiful community bound by our commitment to academic, social, and personal growth, fortified by our differences and our unique backgrounds. That kind of community that we build at Hofstra does not simply disappear. We mustn't let it. When we are faced with climbing that next mountain and our morale begins to deplete, this community will be there. When we face our most outstanding successes, this community will be there, cheering louder than anyone else in the room. Remember, class of 2019, Lions thrive together, and this pride is absolutely no different. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you.
Thank you for that beautiful speech in substance and delivery and in passion in every way. So now it's time to start recognizing uh, some of our students who have earned extraordinary honors. And it's my privilege to present the Outstanding Senior Scholar Award recipient, which recognizes the distinguished academic achievement of a student who has achieved the highest grade point average in the class of 2019. Not only did this student earn a perfect 4.0, but she managed to do it with a major in biology which is, given the grades in biology, is an amazing, truly an amazing compliment. So I ask Bianca Nicole Saraniero to come forward and be recognized. My name is Benjamin Rifkin. I'm Dean of Hofstra College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, and in, also I'm Dean of the Library and Information Services. And I'm here to present the Joan and Donald E. Axon Library Undergraduate Library Research Award, which was established in 1997 by the library faculty to recognize and reward excellence in research and writing by graduating seniors. There are three awards. All of them were nominated by the faculty for whom the paper was written. A faculty selection committee reads all the papers and selects three recipients, one for the humanities and fine and performing arts, one for the social sciences, and one for the natural sciences. Each award includes a monetary prize of $500 and publication of the paper on the library's website. This year, we have three winners, one of whom is unable to be with us this afternoon. The three award winners are, first, not here today, Thomas McLone, and here today, please join me on the stage, Isaac Hoffman and Nicole Homburger. Our recipient for the award for the best paper in the humanities and fine and performing arts is Isaac Hoffman. Isaac is recognized for his honors thesis, The Power of the Childbearer in Aeschylus's Ag Agamemnon, under the advisement of Dr. Stephen Smith, professor of comparative literature, languages, and linguistics. <laughs> so this you can pose with, and then later the name of the award, okay? <laughs> And our recipient for the award in the sciences is Nicole Homburger. Her paper, Rapid M NMR Spectroscopic Identification of Opioids, was written for a forensic science class under the advisement of Professor Ling Wang. And let me just say, even though he's not here. Our award winner for the social sciences is Thomas McLone, and he won for his philosophy honors thesis, Equality and Necessity, an Examination of Jean-Jacques Rousseau's Egalitarian Philosophy, written under the supervision of Dr. Ira Singer, Associate Professor of Philosophy. 
On behalf of the library faculty and the award selection committee, I congratulate Isaac, Nicole, and Thomas on their achievements. So we'll hold on to these. Okay, get your names on them. And you'll get them back. Okay. Each year, Hofstra University selects recipients from our highly accomplished faculty to receive the Lawrence A. Stesson Prize for Outstanding Scholarly Publication. The prize was established in the 1984-85 academic year to reward the scholarly efforts of Hofstra's outstanding junior faculty. This year's recipients of the prize are, and I'm going to ask all three to come forward, hold your applause for a second, and then a, a, a really strong round of applause. Dr. Benjamin Burrington in Hofstra's Department of Physics won for a paper published in the Journal of High Energy Physics, which focuses on understanding the entropy of black holes in space. His work has implications for quantum gravity theory. Russell Chun in the Department of Journalism, Media Studies, and Public Relations earned the award for a paper in the Journal of Visual Literacy, which analyzed the flicker images of President Trump and Obama during their first 100 days in office. Dr. Amir Gandami in the Department of Information Systems and Business Analytics was selected for his paper in the journal Omega on loyalty programs to understand how to optimize customer interactions. Will all of them please be recognized and let me give you their each your award. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Neil Donahue. I'm the Vice Provost for Undergraduate Academic Affairs. And I'm looking for the spot in the script. <laughs> um, for the eighth year, Hofstra University is presenting the award for Mentor of the Year to a faculty member who has supervised advanced undergraduate research. This year's recipient is Dr. Slyman Goriev, Professor of Engineering at the Fred DeMattis School of Engineering and Applied Science and Professor of Radiology and Molecular Medicine, also, at the Donald and Barbara Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. I invite him now to come forward to receive his award and congratulations from President Rabinowitz and Provost Berliner. This award reaffirms Hofstra's recognition of advanced undergraduate research and dedicated faculty supervision as part of its commitment to teaching excellence. Dr. Goriab exemplifies this dedication to undergraduate research. We congratulate him. Now, the big moment. Mr. President, faculty, administrators, graduates, and guests, Hofstra University is proud of its honor students. We take this time to recognize these students who have distinguished themselves during their undergraduate careers here at Hofstra by going above and beyond their coursework requirements. These recipients of departmental honors and Latin honors exemplify the transformation from students who engage with knowledge to scholars who seek and create new knowledge. Departmental honors or high honors students have performed substantial individual research in the field of their major on a topic of their special interest and have defended their researcher thesis before a departmental committee. 
Latin honors are conferred upon students who have achieved the following grade point averages. Summa cum laude, 3.85 or above. Magna cum laude, 3.75. And, cu and cum laude, 3.6. Will the students receiving departmental honors and Latin honors please stand and then come forward to be recognized and to receive the official honors pin. Come on, up please. A tremendous round of applause. Brandon Jurwitz, yeah, go ahead. Cum laude, uh, Sigma Pi National Honor Society for Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences, Phi Beta Kappa, going on to UMass Amherst in Speech, Language, Pathology. Bianca Saraniero, Summa Cum Laude, uh, 4.0 GPA, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Beta Kappa Book Award, going, staying at Hofstra for an, a Master's in Science Education in Biology. Isaac Hoffman, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College graduate going on for a PhD, fully funded I might add, in Cornell at, at Cornell in Classics. Nicole Hamburger, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, president of CSI Hofstra, a Lister Fellow, award, uh, recipient of the Honor, College of Arts and Sciences Award for Academic Excellence in Forensics, going on to a master's at John Jay. Stephanie Schusheim, summa cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma Honor Society, Phi Eta Sigma, Delta Alpha Phi, uh, staying at Hofstra for an MA in Occupational Therapy. Kimberly Donahue, no relation, uh, Magna Cum Laude, Lam Lambda Pi Eta, Phi Alpha Sigma, Phi Eta Sigma First Year Honor Society, going to work for Spectrum New York. Sarah Gerber, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Tri Beta Biology Honor Society, Pi Mu Epsilon Mathematics Honor Society. Laura Wood, Magna Cum Laude, Honors College graduate, Psy Chi, Psychology Honor Society. Jonathan Butterworth, uh, Worth, Cum Laude, Honors College associate, Pi Mu Epsilon, Math Honor Society. La Lauren Brzozowski, Magna Cum Laude, Eta Sigma Gamma, Athletic Director, Honor Roll. Nicholas Bragman, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College associate, Pi Mu Epsilon, Mathematics Honor Society, going on for a PhD in math at University of California, Santa Barbara. Sarah El Buzaidi, Magna Cum Laude, Honors College graduate. Samantha Cusano, Summa Cum Laude, Pi Mu Epsilon, Kappa Delta Phi. Plans uncertain. <laughs> Marcella Sanchez, Summa Cum Laude, uh, Honors in Major. Pushkar Datta, Cum Laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Eta Sigma, Dean's Business Scholar Program, going to work for Bloomingdale's. Brandon May, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma, Dean's Business Scholar. Daniel Frankel, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College Associate, uh, Czar Business Scholar, Honors College. Moises Phillips Bourne, Summa Cum Laude, Beta, Beta Gamma Sigma, Order of Omega, going to work for Price Waterhouse Coopers. Lauren Rolfe, Cum Laude, Phi Sigma Alpha, Phi Sigma Tau, Honor Societies, going on for a JD at Florida State University College of Law. Ali Osman Kazdal, Cum Laude, Gamma Theta Upsilon's National Geographic Honor Society. Nicholas Millis, Miller, Summa Cum Laude, Pi Sigma Alpha, Poli Sci Honor Society. Going to work for the New York State Assembly. Uh, John, John Aylman, Cum Laude, Honors College graduate, going to work for Northrop Grumman. Amon Luthra, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Upsilon Pi Epsilon. Um, Staying at Hofstra for an MS in computer science and working for Goldman Sachs. Um, Logan Kerr, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma, Pi Mu Epsilon, Ep Upsilon, Pi Epsilon. If it sounds like, like a lot of Greek to you, it is um, a master's at Hofstra in computer science. Derek Hamilton, Magna Cum Laude, Intersoft Associates. Ryan McAllen, Cum Laude, master, MBA at Hofstra. Anthony Accardi, Summa Cum Laude, Beta Gamma Sigma. <coughs> Austin Natale, Cum Laude, Beta Alpha Psi, president of the club, ice hockey for three years, staying at Hofstra for an MS in taxation. David Morales, Cum Laude, uh, Beta Alpha Psi Honor Society, also staying for an MS in taxation at Hofstra. Jean-Marie Starkey, Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, 
staying at Hofstra for a master's in accounting, working at Mark's Planet. Andrea Copabianco, magna cum laude, beta gamma sigma, staying at Hofstra for an MS in taxation. <laughs> Aaron Hampton, cum laude, political science honor society. <laughs> Brian Lee, magna cum laude, member of Phi Eta Sigma. Ashley Vernola, magna cum laude, editor-in-chief of Nonsense Humor Magazine, social media director, writing center, tutor at Hofstra University. Greta Kraus, summa cum laude, Hofstra Honors uh, graduate, secretary of psychology club. Christina O'Toole, magna cum laude, Dr. Swinney scholarship for outstanding production major, employer Walt Disney. Jessica Herman, cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, Phi Alpha Theta, and uh, graduate school in Hofstra uh, education. Kristen Bradle, cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, Phi Alpha Theta, Hofstra University, going on to graduate school in, at Hofstra with education. Uh, Kelsey Bogner, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, at Eta Sigma Gamma. Pamela Tursik, uh, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma. Brendan Miller, a cum laude, Hofstra U University Honors College Associate. Nanahal Singh, cum laude, <laughs> member and treasurer of Eta Sigma Gamma Health Science Honors Society, treasurer of pediatric pails. Disha Yalai, <laughs> summa cum laude, research assistant at Hofstra University. Intercollegiate Tennis Association scholar athlete going on to graduate school at the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. Ida Khan, cum laude, president of UNICEF at Hofstra, research assistant at Feinstein, uh, Department of High Honors and Disability Studies. Christopher Abatello, cum laude, member of Phi Sigma Tile Philosophy Honor Society and the Men's Rugby Club. Maria Boggs, magna cum laude, uh, peer teacher, uh, university, going on to University of Colorado Boulder in the JD program. Sareem Akhtar, cum laude, Beta Alpha Psi, Accounting Honor Society. Jules Stewart, uh, honors in rhetoric and public advocacy, pa captain and most decorated member of speech and debate team, going on to Cornell University Law School. Karosh Liebwitz, uh, honors in finance, men's club soccer, and uh, going on to graduate school to uh, deal with the next financial crisis. <laughs> uh, Mia Fabiani, cum laude, Oxford University uh, uh, Honors College graduate. Uh, Catherine Tomasino, cum laude. Laura Hyde, magna cum laude. Taylor Ritzert, summa cum laude, order of Omega Phi Eta Sigma. S Steven DeFiglia, magna cum laude. Richard Boudreau, cum laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Eta Sigma, Beta Gamma Sigma, staying at Hofstra for accounting. Uh, Nina Bangalore, cum laude, Honors College graduate, President of South Asian Students Association. Matthew Salim, summa cum laude, Honors College Associate, Honors College Research Fellowship, uh, American Chemical Society Certified Degree, staying at the uh, Feinstein Institute for Medical Research and the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. Gianna Croning, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Treasurer and Vice President of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, American Chemical Society, Phi Beta Kappa, going to, for a master's at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Andrew Coe, summa cum laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Beta Kappa, staying at the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. Sabrine Buya, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, President of the American Medical Student Association, staying at the Feinstein Institute of Medical Research and the Zucker School of Medicine. There's sort of a pattern developing here. Um, summa cum, Ari Fleischer, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate, Phi Eta Sigma, Group Tutor of the Year, going on for a Master's in Computer Science at Northeastern University. Katharina Blazek, magna cum laude, Honors College graduate. Adam Corrin, magna cum laude, Honors College grad, graduate, Vice President of Hofstra Esports. Geraldine Plinio, cum laude, Honors College graduate. 
Haley Tarbox, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, academic excellence award in biochemistry, Phi Beta Kappa, going to Johns Hopkins University for a PhD in chemical biology. Benjamin Litchie, summa cum laude, Sigma Pi Sigma Honor Society, going on for a PhD, fully funded, I know, at uh, Georgia Tech. Jesse Ross, summa cum laude, Honors College, uh, College of Arts and Sciences Award for Academic Excellence in Sociology, uh, Alpha Kappa Delta Honor Society. Carolyn Sharp, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, going to University of Texas at Dallas for an MS in Speech Pathology. Jessica Manion, summa cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, staying at Hofstra for an MA in Speech Language Pathology. Scott Matthews, cum laude, member of Phi Alpha Psi Omega. Dana Mastrol, summa cum laude, Alpha Psi Omega, that's the Drama Honors Fraternity, and Music Jar Productions is her job next year. So Laura Brown, summa cum laude, Alpha Psi Omega. Isabella McAllister, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, recipient of the Richard Mason Memorial Scholarship, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society. Brianna Bursi, cum laude, uh, Alpha Psi Omega, going to work for the Mint Theater. Amber Halu, cum laude, uh, treasurer of USITT, that's the United States Institute for Theater Technology, going to work at Bush Gardens as a stage manager. Rana Ismail, cum laude, at a Sigma Gamma Honor Society, um, going to work for Zalik Ziegelbaum Physical Therapy. J Julia Macchiarello, uh, summa cum laude, at a Sigma Gamma, Phi at a Sigma Honor Society. Shoshana Mellis, summa cum laude. Um, going on to Hofstra's PA uh, program uh, and a member of Phi Eta Sigma. S Simone Dubé, uh, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, uh, president of the Make and Treble a cappella group. I should have sung that, probably. Uh, Gabrielle Mercieca, uh, cum laude, um, board, mem board member of American Student Dental Association, uh, staying at Hofstra for a master's in health administration. Danielle Pitter, cum laude, uh, departmental High Honors in Psychology um, and staying at Hofstra University. Valdemar Wani, magna cum laude, Eta Sigma Gamma Honor Society. Kira Durand, cum laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Eta Sigma, Sigma Pi, Speech Honor Society, um, going to work for the Long Island Consortium, Doctor of Audiology. Samantha Wilson, cum laude, Honors College graduate, going for a master's in speech pathology at University of Louisville in Kentucky. Brianna Mulqueen, summa cum laude, uh, president of the Global Medical Brigades, staying at Hofstra for a master's in PA studies, phys physician assistant. Victoria uh, Zhao, uh, summa cum laude, going on uh, in the, PH, the PA program here at Hofstra. Christine Tietze, uh, magna cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, uh, staying at Hofstra for the PA program, Physician Assistant Studies. Uh, Leah Sereram, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Phi Beta Kappa, Alpha Kappa Delta, going to work for Fragomen Worldwide. Johannes Pasqual, cum laude, uh, Japanese National Honor Society and Vice President of Hofstra Ballroom and Latin Dance. Sarah Kocher, magna cum laude, Lambda uh, Veda member and President Phi Sigma Alpha member. Uh, Alyssa Loftus, magna cum laude, President of National Association of Music Education. Michael Fernandez, magna cum laude, President of America Choral Directors Association. Hannah Davis, cum laude, Treasurer of Hofstra Music Entertainment Industry Association. Hannah Tight, magna cum laude. Leah Petraglia, cum laude. Isabel Falkovich, cum laude, Lambda Phi Eta Honors Communication Society. Fatima Mozawala, summa cum laude, uh, Phi Beta Kappa, uh, Women's uh, Division I Cross Country Academic Excellence in, in Geography, and going on to graduate school at the Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell. Giuliani Serafesi, uh, summa cum laude, Vice President of Mu Kappa, awarded high honors in global studies. Uh, Lois Paquette, Summa cum laude, uh, his, historian of Mu Kappa, uh, uh, Ge Geography Honor Society, going to work at Fragman Del Rey Bernstein in Lowry. Uh, Julian Donahue, summa cum laude. <laughs> Move on president, vice president of National Honor Society for Dance Arts, Phi Beta Kappa, and New York, employer, New York Bel Theater Ballet. 
Jeremy Skiba, cum laude, uh, going on to Hofstra Uni or Harvard University Athletics Department. Uh, Michelle Gruber, magna cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, president of Phi Alpha Delta, uh, pre-law fraternity, going on to graduate school at George Mason Law School. Uh, Nicole Lamana, summa cum laude, mass media studies senior of the year, going on to graduate school at Hofstra Law. Delaney Comins, magna cum laude, president of Alpha, Alpha Epsilon Phi sorority, uh, going on to graduate school at Hofstra University in STEM education, employers Kings Park Central School District. Anneli Lanyon, uh, cum laude, uh, honors college, uh, going on to graduate school for a doctor of audiology at Nova Southeastern. Amber Donaldson, summa cum laude, member of Phi Beta Kappa, president of the Hofstra chapter of the American Society of Mechanical Engineering. Benjamin Abrams, cum laude, uh, going on to graduate school at the Craig Newmark Mark Graduate School of Journalism at CUNY. Okay. <laughs> Morgan Morell, cum laude, chemistry department honors. Ashley Brooke Miller, uh, cum laude, Department High Honors, Alpha Psi Omega National Drama Honor Society. Carolyn Orlando, summa cum laude, uh, Department High Honors President of Alpha Psi Omega. A Abby Normandin, summa cum laude, President of the Student Government Association, <clears throat> Department High Honors in Public Policy, going on to graduate school at Hunter College and employed by New York City Department of Education. Peter Susi, magna cum laude, Sigma Tau Delta Honors Society, Department of High Honors in English, going on to Brooklyn College for a Master of Fine Arts in Poetry. Mackenzie Stevens, magna cum laude, Tri Beta Bio Honors Society, Academic Excellence Award in Biology, going on to graduate school at Tufts University School of Dental Medicine. Michael Verone, magna cum laude, Tri Beta National Biological Honor Society, going on to Hofstra Northwell Zucker School of Medicine, uh, employed by Northwell Health. Ariel Berkeley, summa cum laude, Psy Chi Psychology Honor Society, going on to graduate school at Columbia School of Social Work, employed by NASA BOCES. Isabel Sasso, summa cum laude, captain of the, honor, of the Hofstra University Pep Band, employed by M&T Bank. Jennifer Port, magna cum laude, Sigma Pi Speech Honor Society, treasurer of NSS LHA, going on to graduate school at Hofstra for an MA in speech language pathology. Emma Finkelstein, magna cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, International Honor Society in Education, uh, conducting captain of the pep band, staying at Hofstra for um, an MS in STEM education. Bianca Esposito, summa cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Societies and a business scholars program. Lindsay Parent, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma. Luke Gentile, summa cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma, going to work for Ernst & Young. Margarita Volkova, summa cum laude, Honors College Associate, Beta Gamma Sigma, Azarb Dean's business scholar, uh, staying at Hofstra for an MBA in finance and working for the Polio Law Group. Angela Curcio, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate, Political Science Honor Society, going to Hofstra Law School. Evelyn Gitson, magna cum laude, Honors College associate, Phi Eta Sigma, staying at Hofstra Law School. Erica Ferretti, magna cum laude, president of Eta Sigma Gamma Health Honor Society, going to Stony Brook's Accelerated Nursing Program. Madison Efron, cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma Honor Society, um, going to Turo College uh, Doctorate of Physical Therapy program. Uh, Jesse Davidson, summa cum laude, uh, Iota Tau Alpha, Athle the National Athletic Training Honor Society, going to University of Delaware for physical therapy. Emma Schroeder, summa cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma, going to the Stony Brook University School of Nursing. Uh, Jillian Salisbury, magna cum laude, uh, certified sports nutritionist, treasurer of the dance club, Movum, and uh, the, the Exercises Medicine Club. Megan Flaherty, uh, cum laude, National Honor Society for Dance Arts, Productions Chair, Movum uh, Dance Club, and working for Eltron Corporation. Sarah Delmore, cum laude, Psy Chi, International Honor Society in Psychology. Nicole Stufano, summa cum laude, Pi Mu Epsilon, Math Honor Society, and a member of the 
IEEE Honor Society. That's electrical engineers. Madison Reed, cum laude, member of the Pi Mu Epsilon Mathematics Honor Society, going to work for Bloomberg Market Data Analyst. Diana Brusca, summa cum laude, Phi Eta Sigma and Upsilon Pi Epsilon Computer Science Honor Society. Elizabeth Ferrano, cum laude, going to work as a designer at Publishers Clearinghouse. Robin Deering, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Eta Sigma, and the producer of Thursday Night Live Package, going to work for the Walt Disney Company. I've heard of that. Sarah Robbins, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Phi Beta Kappa, Sigma Tau Delta, president of the English Honor Society. Stephen Freitag, cum laude, pro producer for Heat Network Sports Beat. Kayla Rosansky, cum laude, Vice President of the Order of Omega Phi Eta Sigma, uh, staying at Hofstra for a Master's in Higher Education Leadership and Policy Studies. Uh, Rebecca Rosenheck, cum laude, Vice President of Alpha Theta Beta, Beta Gamma Sigma, going to work for Price Waterhouse Coopers. Amber Maroney, cum laude, um, Alpha Theta Beta Sorority, Kappa Delta Phi, staying at Hofstra for an MA in STEM Education. Vanessa Golifaro, Magna Cum Laude, Psi, Sigma Pi Speech Honor Society, staying at Hofstra for a master's in speech therapy, speech pathology. Dana Fazio, Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma, uh, going to work for the Walt Disney Company. Uh, Jesse Kelly, Magna Cum Laude, um, going into the Disney College program. Catherine Milford, uh, Departmental Honors, Honors College Associate, President of the Club Equestrian Team. Ali Bakker, Cum laude, uh, John, going to the John Burns School of Medicine at the University of Hawaii. Nice. Nicole Civitello, summa cum laude, sigma pi, is staying at Hofstra for an MA in speech language pathology. Irene Bacas, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Academic Excellence Award, staying at Hofstra for a master's in special education. Hannah Ferrugio, magna cum laude, president of Alpha Phi Omega, uh, staying at Hofstra for a master's in speech language pathology. Kelly Grieshaber, cum laude, Kappa Delta Phi, Inter International Education Honor Society. Hannah Balatero, magna cum laude, honors college graduate, Phi Beta Kappa, staying at Hofstra for a master's in speech language pathology. Anissa Johnson, cum laude, vice president of the pre-medical fraternity, Phi Delta Epsilon. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Adriana Capusta, cum laude, Honors College graduate, Dorothy Hogue Music Scholarship, um, plans to go on to become a doctor. <laughs> Nancy Kalamanis, cum laude, Phi Delta Epsilon, president of Hoster Quidditch, going on to graduate school for, to be a physician employer is Northwell. Uh, Skylar Murakabi, cum laude, going on to Stony Brook University. Stephanie Giardina, cum laude, uh, Order of the Lapis. Uh, Tensi Lapitina, cum laude, uh, Kappa Delta Pi. Uh, da employer is the Downtown Doral Charter Elementary School in Miami. Melissa Montalvo, summa cum laude, President and Vice President uh, of Delta Phi Epsilon, member of the Order of Omega, going on to work at Star Companies. Sarah Coluccio, summa cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma, Order of the Lapis, were employed by PricewaterhouseCoopers. Desiree Perillo, uh, summa cum laude, uh, Hofstra Honors College graduate, Hofstra University, uh, or, Order of uh, the Lapis Honors. Uh, Crystal Grotola, cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, uh, going on to Building Blocks Developmentals Preschool. Haley Levine, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Alpha Phi Omega, member of Spanish Honor Society, going on to graduate school for, at Hofstra University in Education. Tessa Considine, cum laude, Kappa Delta Pi, International Honor Society in Education, going on to Hofstra University for a master's in special ed. Uh, Charles Marinello, Magna Cum Laude, President and Vice President of Exercises Medicine Pre-Professionals, uh, Graduate Scholarship in NYIT's D, uh, uh, DPT program, and going on to graduate school at New York Institute of Technology. Nicole Ostoni, Magna Cum Laude, Phi Eta Sigma National Honor Society, uh, you, going on to graduate school at New York Institute of Technology. Uh, 
Bianca Gillum, summa, summa cum laude, going on to graduate school at Hofstra University, speech language, language and hearing science. Uh, Megan Chamberlain, cum laude, Tri Beta National Biological Honor Society. Sierra Nickel, summa cum laude, uh, public relations student of the year, uh, going on to Rachel K. Public Relations. Benjamin Martin, summa cum laude, Hofstra University Honors College Associate. Uh, Elizabeth Juarez, summa cum laude, Hofstra Honors College Associate, recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholarship, member of Eta Sigma Gamma National Health Education Honor Society. Ra Rachel Farrow, cum laude, founding member of the musical ensemble The Selective Yellow, uh, going on to be, to be employed by The Selective Yellow. Christopher Moore, cum laude, Phi Sigma Alpha. Leslie Rivera, cum laude, uh, masters in, going on to Masters of English Literature at Queens College. Matus Lakomsky, summa cum laude, recipient of Excellence in Economics Award, pre, recipient of the President's Academic Scholarship. Quarantine Hainer, cum laude, uh, research, he's uh, honors in math and engineering tutor. Marcus Smith, cum laude, will be employed by the Harris Corporation. Jan Leitner, summa cum laude, department honors candidacy, beta gamma sigma membership, will be employed by Audi. Uh, Guanji Zhao, cum laude, uh, going on to graduate school at Columbia University. Sukjit Daliwal, summa cum laude, honors college associate, Phi Beta Kappa, vice president of the South Asian Students Association, uh, going on to NYU for an MA in psychology. Timothy Grief, uh, uh, Frank G. Zarr, business scholar, uh, appropriations chairperson for the Student Government Association, and will be employed by People of Promise Incorporated. Uh, Muntanaz Rab, summa cum laude, Phi Sigma Sigma, sigma uh, going on to graduate school at the Zucker School of Medicine. Crystal Ortiz, summa cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Alpha Theta, Phi Sigma Tau. <laughs> Audrey Jones, cum laude, Beta Alpha Psi, uh, Zarb Dean's business scholar, president of 100 Degrees Consulting. Marissa Kadir, departmental honors, going on to work at the New York Presbyterian Hospital. Sarah Schneider, cum laude, going to work for Skanska. Erica Is Isakawa, cum, cum laude. Jennifer Aguinaga, cum laude, vice president of the Professional Fraternity Council, member of Sigma Pi. Alyssa Murphy, cum laude. Um, member of Hofstra Women's Club Lacrosse, going to medical school at, this is handwritten, Mahoney Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. Mahari, sorry. <laughs> medical school. <laughs> Alexis Rittvager, Magna Cum Laude, Honors College graduate, Phi, Pi Sigma Alpha, Political Science Honor Society. Christine Diana, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College graduate, Beta Gamma Sigma, and a Dean's Business Scholar, staying at Hofstra for an, a Master's in Finance. Pauline Seibert, Cum Laude, Honors College Associate, uh, Captain of Women's Ultimate Frisbee. Lauren Small, Cum Laude, Dean's uh, Business Scholar, Phi Eta Sigma, uh, an accountant at Stone Turn in Boston next year. Yuri Ji, Summa Cum Laude, Honors College Associate. Departmental High Honors, I know that separately. Uh, Jonelle Butler, summa cum laude, Academic <laughs> Excellence Award in Criminology, uh, going on to Columbia University for a Master's in Social Work. <coughs> Stephen Chung, summa cum laude. Glenn w Lee Wu, magna cum laude, Phi Beta Kappa. Penelope Ramos, cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction, Tri Beta Honor so Society, and staying at Hofstra for a Master's. Rebecca St. Paul, cum laude, uh, senior resident assistant, vice president of the Hofstra Gospel Ensemble, going for an, a master's at, in speech language pathology, pathology at Loyola University in Maryland. Haritza Halepas, magna cum laude, um, Amsterdam Scholarship Exchange Program, Academic Excellence Award. Zachary Weinberger, cum laude. Frances Francesca Sixto, cum laude, International Sociology Honor Society, uh, working for the Queen's Law Associates. Nicholas Boyer, magna cum laude. Stephen Lecourier, cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma, uh, going to work for the Royal Bank of Canada. Michael Manino, magna cum laude, 
uh, going to work for Manino Re Re Realty Group. Cole Pesciata, cum laude honors college graduate with distinction. Anthony Minerva, cum laude, Computer Science Honor Society. Kaitesi Opondo, Kaitesi Opondo, cum laude. Caitlin Nicholas, cum laude, staying at Hofstra for a master's in accounting. Jacob Mansour, summa cum laude, staying at Hofstra Law School. Samantha Storm, summa cum laude, Honors College Associate, Phi Beta Kappa, Sigma Tau Delta, Lambda Pi Eta, Honor Societies, English Departmental Honors, going to work for 118 Media and Single in Stilettos. That's a company, I'm assuming. Um, uh, Catherine D, cum laude, um, Academic Excellence in Anthropology, Lambda Alpha Anthropology Honor Society. Shabina Sharik, uh, summa cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction. Uh, Departmental Honors in Psychology, going to the Boston University School of Law. Sophia Rosado, summa cum laude, Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society. Sean Germain, uh, magna cum laude, President of Hofstra Concerts, Harold Janine Scholarship Recipient, and the Individual Tutor of the Year, Ziad Alzair, cum laude. Timothy Matishek, cum laude, Honors College Associate. Miranda Rausch, cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Krahulik, magna cum laude, Honors College Associate, going to the uh, Elizabeth Haub School of Law at Pace University. Anna Baxter, magna cum laude, Honors College Associate, going to work for Hawkins International. Uh, Cindy Bacci, cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction and an engineering science uh, high honors recipient. Uh, Merla Salas, um, or Sales, Mailer Sales, cum laude, Honors College graduate with distinction. Homza Boot, uh, summa cum laude, Honors College associate, uh, research assistant in aerodynamics and transport phenomenon at the lab. Uh, Liliana Solis, magna cum laude and departmental honors. Huh? Uh, Derry De La Cruz, <laughs> cum laude, Honors College associate, departmental honors. Uh, Edigama Sigma Health Science Honors Society, attending Georgia, Georgetown University in the Clinical Nurse Leader Master's Program. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you. One more round of applause. With this applause comes our congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations again to our recipients of departmental honors, Latin honors. We are enormously proud of you and look forward to seeing you at all the commencement exercises Past performance is the best predictor of future performance. You are all awesome. Congratulations. And that concludes our program. Thank you very much.